Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I um, am going to go through my seed packets and organize them into my new seed storage container that um, I got for my birthday. Um, and it has been a while, but I've been a bit under the weather and um, I'm hoping to get this done. Uh, because I want to be able to go through all my seeds and get them organized so that um, it'll be all organized for next year's season. This is my new container that I am going to use to store all my seeds into. One thing I want to get started with and I will show you is um, I did purchase some stickers from Roots and Refuge and I wanted to decorate the top of this container. So I have some of these stickers that I purchased and I'm going to show them to you. I also got some magnets which is quite lovely. Um, so the, the stickers that I'm going to put on this container that's going to help decorate my container is So Kindness Reap Beauty, that says from Roots and Refuge. Then I've got this beautiful sticker and this sticker is going to be an inspiration for my future garden. Turn your waiting room into a classroom, which is what I'm doing right now. All these things are quite inspiring for me. And then of course I'll have a flower one for where the flowers are. And one of my favorite things that Jessie says on her channel that makes me just bring me joy every time I see um, is when a new plant comes out of the ground and she says, happy birthday little guy. And um, so I'm going to put that on here as well. Um, and when I ordered some magnets for my fridge too, they were random magnets and I actually purchased Happy Birthday Little Guy individually and the other stickers I got in my random package, which I can show you, is we all know Maya is my homeboy. That one is a newer sticker which is quite exciting. Then this one, will I want to get some chickens and have my own eggs, so this one I thought was awesome. And then of course, chicken math leads to calculus, which is absolutely adorable. So I actually really enjoyed all the stickers I received in my package and then in the um, magnets in the package that I received, um, it was a random package. I got this tomato plant, which that's my first thing I ever put, uh, grew was tomatoes. And then um, you got this, oh, don't mind me just trimming the grass, and then it's that magnet there. So don't mind me, I'm just trimming the grass. And then a tomato magnet. and. This one made, brought me joy too because I picked random and it came with the magnet that says happy birthday little guy and since I individually purchased the sticker I thought that was quite cute. Alright guys, now I've got the stickers in the spot that I want them on. I actually realized that this is where the handle is. I, I have a few more stickers I might add to it later on. This is what I'm going to do. Here I'm going to show you the container that I'm using. These are the 4x6 photo containers and we're going to just put the seed packets inside of these uh, to store them and I will be able to see them individually because the packet is clear. So they just open up and I will store each individual seeds packets in here and they'll go by what I'm storing in here. So here I am showing you um, the different seed size of seed packets. Um, so this one's just a bit smaller than your average seed packet, um, but they actually fit quite nicely inside the container. There's actually even a little bit of room. I'm just showing you right here what it looks like, and um, it's very convenient. And you can actually see through, so you can see which individual so seed I'm packets you're getting. Put this one as peppers. So I'll put peppers in this one. And I'll be able to see what they are by just looking at the container. I don't even need to label them. So this one's going to have tomatoes in it. So I'll put my tomatoes in that. This one's going to have onions in it. So I'm going to keep doing that. So I'll organize them in that sense. Peppers. 
Here I'm storing my zucchini in with my squashes. What I also wanted to show you, I did save some of my own seeds and they are quite, it's a large bag of pumpkin seeds. My favorite pumpkin was blue pumpkin with sweet meat. So I saved the seeds and it's a large packet. So it's gonna get its own seed container and the whole thing will fit inside the seed container. Actually, I'm waiting to be able to get my other set of pumpkin seeds in here as well. So there's my other loose pumpkin seeds. And these ones are pie pumpkin. And they're gonna go right inside here as well. And let's see if we can get that in there nicely. There we go. And that is my saved pumpkin seeds. In this container, I'm putting my carrots in, and later on, I'll be putting in some of my root vegetables. Now these seeds are a larger packet, but they actually fit perfectly inside this container. I'm thinking of using one container for all of my um, herbs and one for all of my flowers. Now here you can see all the containers, how I have them organized, and you can see inside each container what exactly is inside each one, and you can see I have the peppers here. I'm just going to organize all my seeds and put them on top so I know exactly which container they're going in. Now these are my perennials. Well, I'm going to put them in its own container. I'm going to put the eggplant in with the tomatoes. Nightshade.
So here's all my different seeds. I have a container in here with my seeds and the pumpkin. I mean, this is an extra case that you find something more. I do have an extra, but I think I'm going to put these in according to how I will um, use them in the springtime. So in when it's time to start seeds, I'll definitely be starting with my brassicas. So they'll be the first seeds I start. And then I'll be doing tomatoes, peppers, um, lettuces, and then I'll go from there. Onions, flowers will be here up front. <laughs> Peas will be together. And then I'll put the squashes in front of pumpkin seeds. I'll do my herbs back here. Celery takes a long time to grow, so I actually will put that just, the pep just after the peppers. vegetables, you put them in the ground, and then cucumbers will be going along with the squashes. Oh, that's perfect. So now it's all organized to when I'm going to plant them. There we go, it's got a handle up here, and that is all my vegetable seed packets organized coming to the floor. So this is super exciting. Thank you guys for coming along with me as I organize my seeds. Um, this is the first time I've had this many seeds, but I needed it, but I'm very thankful and blessed to be able to. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to follow along with me on my journey, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thanks guys, until next time. Bye!